Hey, Tyler, Mr. Trees. Uh, we're talking Asian citrus psyllid today. Uh, for the last uh, seven, eight years now, uh, San Diego County's been on quarantine uh, for all the citrus trees. So if you buy a citrus tree here, you plant a citrus tree here, you bring a citrus tree here, uh, it lives here, it stays here, it dies here. Can't take it out of the county. That's to keep the spread of the, the insect and the disease uh, down. Uh, it's a fatal bacteria that gets into the tree, spread by an insect. Um, no cures, decimating all kinds of stuff. Um, for uh, that amount of time now, I've been looking for it, years now, never seen it. Uh, never actually seen it in action, in the flesh, uh, here, around where I was at. Uh, but now, uh, the last couple months now, I found it almost everywhere. Uh, everywhere I look, it seems to be there. Adults, babies, all that stuff. Um, good news is, uh, a few of the sites that we've had tested had pretty bad infestations on there, you know, full adults, young, whole deal. I didn't think for a second it would come back clean. Um, protocol basically is the county. If you find the insect, you call the county. County comes out, takes a sample of the tree, tells you if they, if you hear something within two weeks, then you'll have to destroy the tree. The tree's got the bacteria and, you know, away you go. But if you don't hear anything within two weeks, no news is good news. And uh, just go ahead and treat the tree, take care of it as possible and, and move forward. Um, so on two or three of the sites now, no news is good news. It's been four, six, three weeks now on a few of these. Um, and I haven't heard a, heard a thing. Uh, they did find the insect just as I did. Um, they assumed it just as I did that it would probably do its thing, but no news is good news. So, uh, that's, that's some, that's some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but the dark of the tunnel is basically this this guy flies around if it's if it has the bacteria inside it it bites your tree your tree now gets sick it's going to die pretty much no matter what you do whether it's treated not treated any of that it's going to get the bacteria it's going to die um, however if your trees are treated um, you can use sulfurs pyrethrin stuff uh, they, they recommend systemics and stuff i don't but it's it's definitely a way um, but if your tree is well treated then the insect will show up, it'll bite your tree, won't be able to replicate, won't be able to spread, won't be able to leave. So you slow it down that way. So uh, it's definitely encouraged. More regular care, maintenance, more eyes on your citrus trees, uh, especially here, just to kind of curb the curb the spread, buy us some time until we can get a, a, a dedicated cure out there. Uh, but I wanted to put up some pictures, uh, a couple videos of some of the stuff that I've seen. Uh, so you guys can kind of like, you know, judge it for yourself check out your citrus trees if you it's it's only found on new growth and there's a lot that i can go into um you know in the video but this is just kind of a short a short video kind of explaining it showing a couple little things uh, if you got some questions or something you can hit me up but i'm sure i'll do more on this subject but uh yeah it's a it's a bad thing but here here's what to look for i uh, hope you have a good day and uh hope we find a solution soon see you later Fairly young infestation, but that's an infestation nonetheless. Well, I didn't know they moved that fast. 